Hello everybody. In this video today, we're going to be solving the problem seen here. Square root of 3 minus square root of 12 over square root of 3 plus 12. What do we want to do first? So we're going to be solving this without a calculator. So let's look at the denominator first. We want to get ultimately get rid of the square roots, right? So let's look at the denominator first. Square root of 3 plus square root of 12. So there is a formula. It goes like this. A plus B times A minus B is equal to A squared minus B squared. So let's see how we can use this formula here to see if it can help us figure out our bottom here. So let's try to put these values into the corresponding vari variables here. First, for our a, we want to have an a equation, right? There's an a and a b in the equation in the formula, and we want to have our a. So our a, let's make that our square root of 3 on the denominator. And then for our b, let us make that square root of 12. Okay? Our a is square root of 3, our b is square root of 12. Now we want to use this equation. If you multiply this a plus b times a minus b, you're going to get a squared minus b squared. So let's just multiply by a minus b. So a minus b would be square root of 3 minus square root of 12. So let me rewrite the formula here, or rewrite our equation here. and multiply the denominator by a minus b. So square root of 3 minus square root of 12. Oh, sorry, I forgot to write a square root here. Fix that. All right, so remember, when you work with fractions and you multiply either numerator or denominator by a value, you want to multiply both sides by the same value in order to keep it this way, you're multiplying it ultimately by 1 since this cancels out. So your fraction stays equivalent. All right, so we have this. So now let's see what we'll get. So we are multiplying these together, a plus b minus a minus b. And ultimately, we should get a squared minus b squared. Okay, so our a squared. So our a value is th square root of 3. Squaring that, so when you square and square root something, they cancel each other out, right? So you square root of 3 squared would be just 3. And the same goes for our b value. The square root of 12 squared is just going to be 12. It cancels out. So now we solve for our denominator. So now let's look at our numerator. What do we do with that? So notice how these two values are the same, right? We have square root of 3 minus square root of 12 and square root of 3 minus square root of 12. It's as if we're just doing square root of 3 minus square root of 12 squared, right? For this occasion, we have another formula, and it goes a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right, so now let's try to match our values together with the formula. So let's do it again. Let's make our a is going to be the square root of 3. Let me change the colors. Our a is square root of 3 and our b is square root of 12. So the first thing we have here is a squared. So a squared, as we either already figured out, square root of 3 squared is just going to be 3. Next, we have 2ab. So we're going to multiply 2 times a times b. That's going to be 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 12. So we're going to write that just simply as it's simply as this. All right, and finally, plus b squared. We already figured this out. Square root of 12 squared is going to be 12. All right, so now we have this equation, and we want to simplify it further. So we can subtract, uh, not sorry, not subtract, we can add the 3 plus 12, so that will give us 15. 
and since these are both in square roots we can multiply them together we can multiply the insides together so the two, 2 will still be an outside but inside the square root we will have 36 and now we can multiply the denominator or sorry not multiply subtract the denominator together and it will give us 9 negative 9 let's go further so square root of 36 36 is a perfect square and what is the square root of 36 well 6 times 6 is 36 so square root of 36 is simply just 6 everything else is the same so now we can just go on ahead and simplify 15 minus 2 times 6 is 12 over negative 9 still is equal to 3 over negative 9 and simplify that what is that that is negative one third so the answer to our equation is negative one third thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time bye